Roger, great to have you here. Can you please explain us the design? I was really surprised when I saw you practicing and playing with this kind of design. Unusual for you. A little bit. Um, I used to have more white, uh, yeah. you know, years back. And uh, especially after, I think, the all black, you know, the sort of the tuxedo look uh, that we had going with the all black racket. Um, I thought it was good to bring some some color back to it, especially white. I thought the contrast of black and white could mm -hmm. work very well, especially, especially in motion, because I remember with Steffi Graf had the, okay. a very all white rack, yeah. I remember. And then I also had bits of white in my rackets, you know, in previous years. I just always thought in motion, uh, you have the flow of the white still in your, in your head, you know, after the shot was hit. And um, the idea of the adding white also was maybe as it was a tuxedo, design racket I thought maybe the white brings sort of the shirt okay so its, that means you're completely involved in this uh, yeah. procedure yes uh, I am uh, you know it's even it says here co-designed right. with Roger Federer okay. you know so we did it uh, all together it was a long process and uh, when, when, and when, when, will you, when will you do it I mean you're quite busy sometimes you're off in the clay court season but yeah when, when you do it normally. it's a matter of priorities <laughs> you know, know with know. everything in life when you have a f when it's a priority you have time for it and this is something I never thought I could ever do is okay. design my own racket. Okay. Um, we spoke at length together with yeah. uh, with Wilson. Um, they flew several times to Switzerland, and um, then many times also we were in contact from the headquarters in in Chicago, which I'm finally going to visit. You yeah. know, for the first time when I go to the okay. Labor Cup this year, okay. and uh, we just thought important for the racket was that it was recognizable from far away. You okay. know, that's why we have the three and. Uh, nine o'clock mm -hmm. and I think with all the different colors we have going through the whole uh, design of all the Wilson rackets now I think it looks wonderful and I think the black and white is is very timeless as well so I think it actually came out really nice I'm very happy with it why is this racket as a racket so good for your game well I mean look I was always open for change um, but I never really had to fix it because I was uh, really successful for a long long period of time and it, it was always difficult to make a switch. You know, mm -hmm. I had so much success with the old 90, you know, racket that I had the pro staff. Um, but then finally I, I had enough and I was like, I wanted a bigger racket, a racket head size and um, also different design in the process. But um, going to the RF 97 was a big switch. It was a, maybe a, a bit of a risk, you know, yeah, because it was, I, it was a risk, you know. Um, but already back in 2002, I switched from the 85 to a, a 90 mm -hmm. and that was already quite a switch for me already mm -hmm. um, but I feel like you know when I have enough time and mentally I want to do yeah. the change I uh, actually thought it was uh, the right thing to do and um, I'm happy I did it now I can come over the backhand easier um, it gives me different chances to play in a different way mm -hmm. that maybe in the past I couldn't do maybe I cannot do certain certain things as well as in the past mm -hmm. but I was able to adjust to the new racket and um, it's just a easier racket for every day and uh, I'm really really happy with it and plus I had success with it so it's it's wonderful interesting thanks you're welcome <laughs>